how are we doing folks? Right, uh, been packed camp the last couple of days, probably seen the videos, but tonight we'll be a review video. So, big thanks to a company called Fire Chef. So, Scottish company, so it's always good to promote a Scottish company, obviously staying in Scotland. Right, but they've sent me a campfire grill. So I do like the look of this, uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a campfire to go, I'm going to do a bit of cooking. What we're cooking tonight? Rack of ribs. But, on to the review. So, it's family sized folding grill, height adjustable, it's got a leg support, extra long handle, easy to clean, thrust resistant, and it even comes with us back in the carry case which even got the fire chef logo on the front of it but looks a pretty solid bit of kit uh, opening wise it's just a velcro strap either side right and this is the main the main grill part obviously you get the wee booklet with it as well but I don't need that just now so the way it works is and I'll show you this better once I, I stick it into the ground. But basically, if I remember rightly, that will stick in through this. You'll probably notice there's a wee section here. So basically what happens is the pole goes in there. That goes in. Basically what happens is it sticks into the ground. I'm going to show you this better in a minute. Right, and then basically once that's in the ground, and that'll hold that up and again you can change that to whatever height you want whatever angle you want but, and it basically it's just a way of cooking inside the cage so this would be brilliant for anything to steak to, to fish to ribs to chicken to you name it we'll be able, we'll be able to cook just about anything on and within this so I'm actually quite looking forward to using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the get the fire and the go, get that heated up, and then we'll basically get the ribs stuck inside it, and we'll see what it's like, see how so easy it is to, to cook with it. But let's go on it. Let's get a fire going. So like I say, that is the Fire Chef Grill. So I'll put the links uh, to the company down below. Uh, Obviously, you are going to be using this. Make sure you don't leave no trace, right? Don't be leaving your, your big smelly fire pits for somebody else to clear up, right? Make sure that you do tidy up after you, right? And it's not hard, does it? But it does, it looks a good back at. So, anyway, let's go on with it. Let's get the fire on and let's get these rubs in the go. So, thanks again, Fire Chef. Very good. The Fire Chef Grill. Right, so while that, that fire's cooking, you can see there, it's got the wee Fire Chef logo. Right, obviously you can slide this up and down to whatever height you want. And then it just basically sits. Right, obviously the thing opens up like that. And then you just stick your, whatever you're cooking, inside it and let it cook. So I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to have... A packet of sweet barbecue pork rack of ribs. It says it serves two, so you know what I'm like. To me, that serves one. <laughs> or I could probably eat two of these. Right, but I'm gonna. That's what I'm cooking tonight. Sweet, sweet, sticky barbecue ribs. Oh, they look good, don't they? So I'm gonna stick them on. Give it a bash. We'll see what it's like. Black Arabs. So, I've not made these from scratch then. Right, there you go. I spread the sauce on one bit. And then, just gonna flip that over, try not. I think these are very good. Right, I should actually have got. 
Fuck all then. Right. Gotta spin this room a wee touch. Right. What you need to do? Push that up. Right, and then there's a wee clip thing that just slides up. So basically, it just basically clamps it shut. Right, and then it's just a okay, so then all you have to do is you let it move it closer. So I'm going to hold it out there. Do that about half an hour, should be good to go. So, rack of ribs. I can hear that sizzling already underneath. Fantastic. But quite a neat bit of cutter. I do like it. So, there's a kind of view for the side. Like so you can just adjust it up and down, whatever you want to do. Chef grill. I do like it. And I reckon these ribs are going to taste fantastic on it. I'm going to cook ribs on it today. Next time I've actually got a chicken, so I might do a spatchcock chicken on it as well. I'll probably have the spatchcock chicken a wee bit higher up and I'll let it slower cook. But, oh, I can hear that sizzling. I can hear that sizzling right now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. folks, whoa, I don't know about you, but I reckon, I reckon that's good to go. So I'm going to get that served up, and get stuck in. Well, I think that looks pretty good, did you think? Oh, look at that. Oh. Full rack of ribs. So I've done some homegrown tomatoes, a bit of lettuce, homegrown lettuce as well. Cucumber, bought that out of the shop, and uh, new potatoes. Put them, a wee bit of butter on them, and some chives. But I think that's ready to get scoffed. You know what time it is then? It's taste test time. Let's pull a wee bit. Oh, aye. Just pulls off the bone there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, aye. Mmm. Lovely. Sweet. A bit of healthy stuff. I'm going tomato. And over. A wee, a wee cheeky new potato. Mm. So, I'm going to dig in. Oh yeah, check that out, lovely. Oh, it's just absolutely fantastic. Can't do it with one, with one hand and film at the same time. Right, I'll bring you back once I've scoffed all it. Right, last but not least, good.
but other than Fantastic. So, demolished. Very nice of her too. So as ever, if you cook in the house, you can cook it in the woods. Uh, but, really nice. I enjoyed them. And uh, Fire Chef Grill. Nice wee bit of cat. Wouldn't be carrying it what, into the, the middle of the hills or anything. But we didn't have too far to go, it's not that heavy. Uh, like I say, I'll put the links uh, below uh, to the, the site that basically sells them, which is Fire Chef. Fire Chef that's the, the company that makes them. But very good. Uh, well, I've finished eating. I might actually have a wee brew, actually. In fact, why not? You know me, I like a wee brew, don't I? A wee brew, maybe a wee chocolate biscuit. Brew time. That's right, it's brew time. Right, now you like, like my biscuits. What have I got the night? You know, somebody kindly brought some homemade Scottish shortbread. Mmm, very nice. Mm, very nice indeed. So, just luckily I've got a good few pieces of it there. Uh, that shortbread was lovely. So the ribs made. But hopefully that gives you a better idea what the Fire Chef grill looks like. I think I'll use that again. I'm, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to because they make either spatchcock chicken or a, 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 I'm dying to do a catch and cook so we catch a couple of fish whether it's trout or mackerel or something like that mackerel I think would be nice to use smoked over the fire I doubt there's much chance of me catching a salmon but but chicken, I think I'll, chicken will be next on it and the fire chef grill then I think I might actually try and do a bit of fish. I don't have fish that often, I'm always eating meat, and I? I do like my, I do like a juicy steak and stuff like that. Even though there might be some vegetarians watching. But you can't beat a juicy steak, a rack of ribs, can you? Cooked over the fire. Oh, lovely. Right, anyway, that's it for the night. Just a wee. So a test and review with the Fire Chef grill and cooking some ribs. So, as always, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't. And make sure you hit the bell for future notifications. And just in case I don't do any videos before next Friday, remember, I'm on the radio next Friday. Radio Scotland, between 10 and 11. I don't know the exact time. I'll be on between 10 and 11 for a wee cheeky 10 minute slot. So tune in folks, tune in. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.